was recorded on April 30th, 1965. The speaker is Rabbi Philip Lippis at North Suburban Synagogue Bethel in Highland Park, Illinois. This is an excerpt from his sermon to the congregation during the Friday night service. We should liberate ourselves of harmful stereotypes that are clearly the products of prejudice and bigotry. It's not enough that the American Negro has suffered so grievously for over 300 years in America. There have been those who have blamed him for the disabilities for which he has suffered and for the humiliations that have been heaped upon him. The Negro, they say, is ignorant, he is shiftless, he is racially inferior, intellectually low, morally weak. Let him know his place in society and let him stay there. Now we know what a colossal lie this charge is. We know that the Negro is neither biologically nor mentally nor spiritually inferior to the white man. We know that when given the same opportunities as the white man, he uses these opportunities just as worthily. And we know that if sometimes his behavior may be shocking now and then, he has the right to say to the white man, as Shylock said to the Christian, the villainy you teach me, I execute. The Negro is no better and no worse than the white man, given the same conditions and the same set of circumstances. And so it becomes our duty as Jews, through the mandate of our own sorrowful history and the imperatives of our faith, to be on the side of the Negro in his search for equality. We are to aid him not only in Selma and in Mississippi and in Georgia, but in Glencoe and in Highland Park and on the North Shore. And this summer, we're going to be put to the test. You'll shortly begin to hear more and more about the North Shore Summer Project. Its purpose is to make the North Shore an open occupancy area. In 1964, five Negro families succeeded in moving into the North Shore. This is hardly a significant number, especially when there are 2,000 houses for sale in the North Shore Multiple Listing Service. Some North Shore realtors would like to adopt a non-discriminatory policy. And now that open occupancy has become law through the act of the Illinois legislature. There is legal encouragement to in these realtors to follow their inclination. But they are cautious. And they are seeking some kind of a mandate from community leadership and from the people. Is ours really a closed community? Nobody really knows because the question has not yet been put. The issue has not been confronted. But we shall be this summer. And I'm confident that we shall meet the challenge properly, especially now when the law of the state accords with a moral mandate of our faith. All this talk that we heard for so long about forced selling is just so much nonsense. No one will be forced to sell his property to anybody. If there will be force used, home sellers will be forced not to discriminate. And that's all. And so let us lay to rest all of these imaginary evil stereotypes that have made the Negro the unhappy scapegoat in our society. Let us march together 
Jew and Christian and white and black and native and foreign born in accordance with a vision that came to Micah. Ki chol ha'amim yelchu ish b'shem Elohav v'anachnu nalef b'shem Adonai Eloheinu li'olam v'ayat for let all peoples walk, each one in the name of its God, but we will walk honorably in the name of the Lord our God forever and 